Look at this. That is gorgeous. I just wanted to start this video off with something prettier than my face. Hey y'all, Action Matt Green here, mostly cause the action. All right, let's talk products today. If I'm not gonna be taking sponsors, then I'm either gonna have to have a hit song or some type of product. And I'm fairly sure that Adam Calhoun or Upchurch or Tom McDonald, I'm not sure that they're gonna have a use for a backup dancer. I've got that boom boom power and chicks been jogging my style. Or, you know, backup vocals doing a Sasquatch call. I just don't know if that's needed. So I guess what I'm gonna have to rely on is the big brain. So we're gonna talk YouTuber products, influencer products. You know, I, I personally, I personally have spent just a few dollars, not a whole lot on YouTube influencer products. Uh, I think I bought a seasoning that's, uh, oh man, I can't remember her name. My wife watches her. Oh well, but the point of bringing up the influencer product thing is I'm not sure how many influencers have created products products that are environmentally sustainable and I'm not even sure if I'm using the right word because I'm new to this. But I told you guys that I was going to have full disclosure and the more the more feedback I can get the easier this process is going to be. So I don't know what the product is going to be. I don't have I don't have a clue. But I do know that I do not want to harm the earth or planet any more than it's already being done. So I don't want to create a product that is just filler per se. I don't want to create a product that is going to damage the earth. I would prefer to use a material in the product that is maybe a recycled material. So then I start thinking, well, I am a trash man, and what I probably see more than anything is plastics. So what I think that I would like to do is focus on plastics. And first off, I want to find a way that the process of creating this product is going to be good for the environment. What I'm going to do is the first thing that I would like to get is some type of machine that will process plastics of any kinds down into a granulated form and then I'm going to go from there because I feel like if I jump into this too soon that I'm gonna create a product that is not worthwhile, is not environmentally sustainable, and does no good for no one. I would like to create a product that people want to buy, and then for, for even better, I would like to figure out a way because if I'm accepting plastics as a material to create it and then I'm breaking those plastics down that means I don't have to spend as much on material costs so I can probably have a portion of the income can be donated to some world changing cause that I don't know about yet I would like to do something that helps I don't have to create this product I don't have to do anything but if I am going to do something, instead of being a burden, I would like to be the opposite. I would like to add value to someone's life, including my own and my family's. If I create a successful product, it allows me more time with my family and less stress about work and all the other stuff. So also, I can get some plastics off of the out of the landfills 
and let's say, let's say the only thing I accomplish is taking plastic and shredding it down into a granulated form. Let's say that's it. Let's say I spend $10 a month on a electrical device for electricity because the, the stuff to, 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 to shred plastic is anywhere from you know $750 to $1,500 to $5,000 depending on what scale. But I'm just going to focus on figuring out a way to shred plastics. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me the whole process. There will be a product that is created for mass production. It will be cheap. It'll be something that's made out of a recyclable material and I will keep you guys in the loop the whole time. And then I think I will create a product in order to protect myself from anybody out there that's gonna steal the product that we all openly create together. So I think what I'm gonna do is create another product. I still don't know what that is either, but something that I can patent and, and make money on so that I don't have to rely on the one product that is meant to actually make a difference to make money i can make money off of all this other stuff but i would like to create a product that actually makes a difference if i could use plastic to create something that helps mitigate plastic being everywhere i don't know but i feel like it's a good idea to build on and i would like to bring you guys along with me so if there's any feedback anything you can find out anything you know about plastics i know there's several different kinds i know things can and can't be used in certain ways but here's the deal i'm ready to make a change in not only my life and my family's lives and all the people around me but i'm also ready to make a change for the beautiful world for this beautiful planet and I like, I want to make some money. Who don't want to make money? So say whatever you want to whoever you want. Then you can take this video and it can be clipped and spent and popped and pinged and panged and bing bonged all over the internet. And it's never going to change. I like money, but that doesn't mean that I am evil. It just means that I inherently, I want to, I want to be a success and I want to further my life. You guys feel me in? Let me know what you think.